my comments tonight are on, on behalf of International President Jim Little. Uh, he had an arbitration that he had to attend out on Long Island, and that's why I am standing in for him. Uh, but I had several conversations with him over the last couple of weeks, and as recently as 3 o'clock this afternoon. And, you know, he asked me and directed me to let you all know, not just Local 100, but New York City, and all the participants who are in this room tonight, that this international indeed stands in unity uh, with the officers of Local 100 and with the members of Local 100 in their quest for a decent reliable contract that is uh, indeed um, interesting and a pleasure to hear the conciliatory comments, the, the what could be the spirit of cooperative negotiations uh, expressed uh, by uh, your new ranking officer. Um, however, uh, we all know that uh, while we strive uh, to, to find the most common areas where we can work, we also know that this is a difficult world we live in. We know that we have contributed uh, in 2008 and 2009 to bail out Wall Street. We know that you should contribute yet some more. While we have occupied Wall Street, not too far from here, fighting today in court, to occupy again, uh, we have them trying to hold the people who made this mess accountable and make them pay their fair share. So that's the context in which you all are negotiating. It's going to be very difficult. But don't lose sight of how important all public employee negotiations are around this country, not only last year, but this year and next year. And we consider these negotiations in New York City pivotal to what happens to the rest of TW around the country because you've always led the way. So, we stand in solidarity with you. We will provide whatever help and assistance that is requested of us. Depots in and Brooklyn and Manhattan, and OA depots as well. The personnel from Manhattan and the Bronx Service Operating Authority, and our sisters and brothers at the five MTA bus depots, together with the members of our sister unions throughout the MTA's operations, we collectively move New York. Riders and workers keep the system strong. Through the ups and downs of the economy, transit riders have stuck with the system. Even with the loss of hundreds of thousands of jobs in the local economy in 2008 and 2009, on a long-term basis, ridership has risen. Despite the recent economic downturn, the productivity of transit workers remains high. Today we